today's topic, which is very appropriate, uh, being Valentine's Day when we think about loving and healthy relationships, it's also an opportunity for us to think about relationships that are unhealthy and how we can make it such here in our commonwealth, in our communities, uh, that people understand what a healthy relationship is and how we can improve the quality of these relationships across our commonwealths. And we're very uh, pleased to be able to partner with our legislative leaders uh, to do what is necessary to make our communities safer, to make it better for survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault, and to do what's needed to hold perpetrators and abusers accountable here in our commonwealth. We cannot underestimate how important the work is that Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito has done around issues uh, of domestic violence, whether it is uh, arranging events like today or the steadfast work of the Governor's Council to address sexual assault and domestic violence. It is so important to establish healthy relationships among our teens. It's invaluable in creating a world where domestic violence no longer burdens our communities and harms our residents. Today, uh, the, uh, in Massachusetts, the Department of Public Health survey, 8.3% of high school students report having been hurt physically by a date or someone that they were going out with. In that same survey, 19% of Massachusetts high school students report experiencing controlling behavior by someone they are dating or going out with, including monitoring cell phone calls or texting multiple times a day to monitor their whereabouts. Whereas adolescent victims of physical dating violence are significantly associated with lower than average grades and poor school attendance. And whereas teens who are victims in high school are at a higher rate for victimization during college and throughout their lifetime. Whereas the Commonwealth of Massachusetts seeks to promote safe communities for all, and now therefore uh, I, together with our governor, uh, Charlie Baker, uh, do declare February this day of 2018 to be Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. And we'd like to issue you this uh, proclamation to start strong. And thank you for helping so many youth in our Commonwealth. At Start Strong, we teach youths and adults about healthy teen dating relationships and preventing teen dating violence. We use workshops, games, hold events, and like and like our annual, in our annual breakup summit to make sure our values hold true to every person we teach. This work wasn't achieved alone. Uh, we have a very strong cohort of about 20 high school students that do this work every day. Um, we've had almost 100, peer, actually a little over 100 peer leaders now uh, since our inception.